Shalom, shalom. <clears throat> it's almost Shabbat here in Israel. Um, and you've all been on the news. You've all heard um, the sirens wailing throughout Ukraine, including in Kiev, um, the capital. And you've seen that Russia has begun to wage war against Ukraine. Is that 43, 42 million people live there in Ukraine, uh, including many friends of ours. It is truly intense to see the amount of uh, military that has amassed, the amount of Russian soldiers going in to Ukraine. We know people in Ukraine. And uh, also, there are many, many, many Jewish people in Ukraine. Yeah, more about 200,000 or so Jewish people, um, according to the law of return. Now, here's what I'm going to say is you've seen the tanks driving through. Uh, many are asking what's going to happen. The skies, as you know, are shut down. There is no, there is, are no flights at this moment over Ukraine, out of Ukraine. They are in war. I don't know if you know what war means. I've been in a war or two, and uh, there's, you don't have internet. Uh, there's everything shut down. Now I know you're asking the questions. I'm asking the questions. What will Israel do? How will Israel respond here? Uh, well, first of all. Uh, people are flying into Israel to do prayer over Israel. Actually, I woke up at uh, 4.30 this morning uh, to pick up a group of, of pra a prayer intense group to go throughout the land of Israel, uh, pray, intercede on behalf of not only Ukraine, but look what's going on throughout. Look at the Iran, Iran deal, right, that is, is being pushed almost past, which is worse than the deal that was almost that Trump tried to step in to stop a deal giving nuclear weapons. What do you think is going to happen when Iran gets nuclear weapons? Okay, this is what happens. Stuff like this. All right, so I just want to say uh, tomorrow at dawn, at like, uh, again, at 4.30 a.m., I'm going to be uh, leaving to go pick up a, a prayer intensive group. Um, and uh, but we need to start to pray and intercede because we serve a God who is real, who is affecting change in this earth, and who protects protects Israel, protects Ukraine. Right now, Ukraine is in some serious, um, uh, in a serious dire situation. Now, many are asking the question: Well, what will Germany do? What you know how cold it is in Germany right now? All the gas, all the gas of Germany, as you know, depends on Russia. That Nord, the one that's going to be shut down, or is is shut down. Um, the Nord Stream, Nordstrom. Uh, that that is supplies all of Germany's gas for cooking on stoves for this is how it gets bigger than just a regional it's not or just a regional thing all of Germany will not have gas uh, okay now what will happen here in Israel there is many allies of Russia here in Israel as you know who are testing us right now in the north where I fought in 2006 against the terror regime called Hezbollah they attacked us. They launched a, you know, they launched day and night volley after volley after volley of missiles onto us here in Israel. Now, we're not in Ukraine. We're in Israel. But it's a chain reaction. And the allies of Russia, because of the amount of missiles given by Russia to the, to the to terrorist regimes around the world through Iran. So they give to Iran. Iran gives to the proxies. Does that mean war will break out here? It could be. It could be. It's time to pray and intercede. Okay, now, is, what's Israel going to do? Is Israel going to fly over to Ukraine and help Ukraine right now? Look, we, and to fight against Russia, we have a very, we, we, we a strong army, but a very small army. Uh, we have to be ready here. We have to be ready here for what happens here. We can't be flying over there right now. Uh, we have to be able to start to defend, be sure we're able to defend the borders here. This is a very tiny, tiny country, not with millions and millions like in Ukraine even. So I'm not instilling any worry. I'm just saying we got to be praying. I'm so glad there's prayer intensives coming in to Israel, but we need to be interceding for Ukraine. Now, look at this. When you see what's going on down in Ethiopia and you see in different various places what's beginning to stir, the drone flights coming in, uh, trying to uh, gauge where the military bases are here and fly in, I'll surely be called up with my team to... Um, to go and, and defend the defenseless. I will say this, um, still life is, life is still like normal until it's not, you know what I mean? You look at Ukraine, everyone's going to work still, even though there's, there's sirens blaring, even though rockets are falling, but there comes a moment where that switches. Tonight, everything's normal. Today, everything's normal, right? I mean, there's a wedding of my army friend. T today, I'm gonna go there. Um, 
but it switch it's all normal till it's not that at that point is the point where now I'm not one of these people to say let's go right now and um, store food or whatever I, what I'm saying is start by praying start by praying and saying well honestly we have to be honest we have to be honest and straightforward the world saw what happened in Afghanistan and they said America can't protect anyone is what they're saying that's what they're saying everywhere um, is that true you know it's so it's either we're in a time right now where where people are asking the questions everywhere through the Middle East they're saying you know could is America able to to protect their country instead of you know trying to lobby to get nuclear weapons for Iran the arch enemy who's declaring our destruction so these are times you just pray not times to cast blame to try to look here and be like a, kind of how people are on social media it's the time for heroes to arise God's promised Jeremiah that lots of Jewish people will come from the north country look look throughout and God will have his way part of this might be just to help the Aliyah to come here we'll be ready to receive them even if they come by the hundred thousands there's two hundred thousand or so Jewish people there and we want to be ready to receive them that means from the airport to temporary housing, as many as possible. We don't have 200,000 houses, but as many as possible will help in the Galilee. Of course, as much food as we can give, clothing, shelter, and even, even train them for jobs. They don't speak Hebrew, but to get them trained, get them in as quick as possible into a job. That's uh, what we're trying to do here right now. I just wanted to voice, we see the missiles falling. We're not foreign to that. We're not afraid of when missiles fall. And, uh, but we just be in prayer and say, Lord, have your way in this time. Lord, have your way. And together, we're going to see God's glory. And God is stronger than all the plans of mice and men.